Hi, I'm Michael Correa, and this is Psych Exam Review. In this video, I want to consider the role of culture on perception. So, in the previous videos, we've seen that learning plays a role in our perception, that we have to learn how to perceive, right? We have to figure out how to make sense of the information coming in from our senses. We learn how to interpret and organize this information. Now, if we have to learn how to perceive, then this opens up the possibility for social and cultural influence because our culture can influence our learning and then our learning can influence how we perceive the world. So let's look at an example of this. This is a famous example called the Muller Liar Illusion. And this is an illusion created by a German sociologist named Franz Karl Muller Liar. Okay, so this Muller Liar Illusion you may have seen before. So we have just a straight line here. And now I'm going to copy this line so that you know that the second line is identical. Okay, so here's a copy of this line. You can see these are exactly the same length. And now I'm going to go in and just add some tails on this one. And I'm going to add some tails on this one. And when I do this, we now have this illusion that the top line appears to be longer than the bottom line. Right? This is the Muller Liar illusion. It's very simple, but it's sort of uh, powerful, right? You look at it and it really does feel like the top line is longer. Okay, so how might this relate to culture? Well, uh, a researcher named Marshall Segal and colleagues decided to go out and test this, and they wanted to see if people from different cultures experienced this illusion in the same way. And so they went around to a number of different cultures and they showed people this illusion and they found that some people were more susceptible to the illusion than others. So what made a certain cultural group more susceptible to the illusion? Well, they proposed what's called the Carpentered World Hypothesis. And the Carpentered World Hypothesis is the idea that people who live in a more carpentered world are more susceptible to the Muller liar illusion. So what do I mean by a carpentered world? This refers to a world that has a lot of artificial sort of created structures, things that are carpentered. So you're going to see lots of right angles. You're going to see uh, parallel lines converging, right? So if you think about most of the things that you see, most of your experience in buildings is a very carpentered world. There's lots of right angles. You don't see lots of right angles in nature, uh, but in a carpentered world, they're all over the place. You see parallel lines converging every time you look down a hallway. Every time you look into a room, which is most likely a square or rectangular room, right? We don't have lots of rounded uh, walls. And as a result, you've learned to make assumptions about the lines that you see. So you're constantly seeing parallel lines converging. You're constantly, constantly seeing right angles, making corners in rooms. And as a result, those assumptions that you've learned how to make influence the lines that you see in the Muller liar illusion. So let's look at an example of how this might actually apply to a real life situation. So we can see a real situation that actually looks quite similar to the Muller liar illusion. So again, we're going to draw, uh, oops, let's, let's make that a straight line. Okay, so here's our line. And again, I'm going to copy it so we know that it's the same. Let's put this one here. All right, and we'll use a different color for this to uh, stand out a bit. Okay, so the idea here, let's uh, imagine we're sort of looking into a room here. This is like a carpet or something. The idea here is this, this is the sort of situation we might see frequently, right? We're looking back into the corners of a room. I haven't drawn this quite perfectly, but um, the idea is this is the back wall here, and this is some rug sitting here. And we sort of have learned that obviously this back wall here is much longer than the rug here. I mean, the room, we're assuming that these are parallel lines that are just appear to converge because of linear perspective. 
So the idea is we're so used to seeing this type of situation where our, our brain makes the assumption is, okay, these two lines on my retina are the same length, but I know that this one is farther away, and therefore I know it must actually be longer. And we sort of exaggerate this difference, and this creates the illusion, right? This, you can see, is it's quite similar to that molar liar illusion, right? We have like the tails sort of sticking out on this one and sort of sticking in on this one. And the idea is that that's the explanation for this illusion. Now, I'll show you one other demonstration of this. This is one of my favorite illusions because it's very easy to draw, but very powerful. You can sort of see it appearing as I draw it. So it operates on the same principle. We're going to draw two lines here. All right, so there's a straight line. And let's go ahead and copy this. Oh, whoops, that's our line from before. Try that again. I don't know what's I don't know what's happening here. Well, that's annoying. There we go. Okay. Copy that one. All right, so these lines are the same length. And now we're just going to go in and add some other lines. As I do this, you might start getting the feeling that that line on the right is getting longer. Right? And now, hopefully, you have this same sort of experience where this line here seems to be longer than this one, even though you know they're identical. So what's happening here? Again, it's using this idea of linear perspective, parallel lines converging, and the idea that this line is farther away from you. That's you, You're so used to seeing this sort of situation in the world that you make assumptions that this one, even though it looks the same on my retina, this one's a lot farther away, therefore it must be bigger, and therefore you start to see it as actually being bigger. Right, so that's another demonstration of this carpentered world hypothesis for potentially explaining something like the muller liar illusion. Again, it's very similar in that we have Essentially, you know, there's the lines that are sort of the inverted one, and here's the sort of outward one, and so that this would explain this molar liar illusion. Okay, so that's the Carpenter World Hypothesis, and one possible example of how culture can influence our perception. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.